फोर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर प्लीज पे अटेंशन यू विल पार्टिसिपेट एस एफ लिमिटेड हैज बोनस पेबल ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड एट ईयर एंड हुज डिडक्शन इज अलाउड ऑन पेमेंट बेसिस अंडरलाइन डिडक्शन इज अलाउड ऑन पेमेंट बेसिस मीन्स फ्यूचर डिडक्शन इज टेन थाउजेंड कैरिंग अमाउंट इज टेन थाउजेंड डिडक्शन अलाउड इन फ्यूचर टेन थाउजेंड फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज सपोज वी आर पासिंग एंट्री इन द बुक्स सपोज वी आर पासिंग एंट्री इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट जस्ट अ मिनट सपोज वी आर पासिंग एंट्री इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट वॉट एंट्री विल पास राइट डाउन बिलो इन योर बुक लॉजिक राइट इन द बुक राइट इन द बुक फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग फर्स्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चन विल गो एक्सट्रीमली स्लो यू मे गेट बोर्ड दैट इज योर प्रॉब्लम आई एम नॉट हेयर टू प्लीज यू इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट द एंट्री विल बी बोनस एक्सपेंस अकाउंट डेबिट टू बोनस पेबल एंड इट अपियर्स इन बैलेंस शीट लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट वी हैव बोनस पेबल लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट वी हैव बोनस पेबल टेन थाउजेंड दिस इज माई बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट प्रेजेंटेशन ना वॉट अबाउट टैक्स बुक इन टैक्स बुक इट इज नॉट अलाउड इन द करेंट ईयर नॉट अलाउड इन करेंट ईयर मीन्स नो एंट्री नो एंट्री मीन्स नो बोनस पेबल फॉर टैक्स बैलेंस शीट सो इन टैक्स बैलेंस शीट इन टैक्स बैलेंस शीट इट इज अपियरिंग एज जीरो सो टैक्स बेस विल बी जीरो दिस इज वन वे टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज वन वे टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड द सेकेंड वे टू अंडरस्टैंड इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ फॉर्मूला सर वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला द फॉर्मूला इज कैरिंग अमाउंट माइनस फ्यूचर डिडक्शन carrying amount of liability minus future deduction write down the answer now where the uh, step 1 starts calculation of deferred tax carrying amount 10000 this 10000 will be allowed as a deduction in the subsequent year so future deduction is 10000 therefore tax base of the liability will be carrying amount minus future deduction carrying amount minus future deduction 10000 minus 10000 zero because in future you'll get deduction so today the tax base is zero if you make this also equal to 10000 which means there is no tax consequence in future that is not true when you will pay the liability you will get the deduction this is called deductible temporary difference this is called deductible temporary difference 10000 and therefore deferred tax asset when it is deductible you will create dta because you you will save tax in future when you will pay this bonus to the staff that year you will be allowed deduction that year you will have tax saving so i will call it deferred tax asset i will call it deferred tax asset equal to 3000 deferred tax asset equal to 3000 or you can see the carrying amount is greater than tax base of liability carrying amount of liability if greater than tax base of liability mechanically you can remember it will give rise to dt this is mechanical way of learning this is understanding whichever way you can understand everybody find some or the other ways to understand the concept right if you are making a software program software will not understand software will not think he will only software will only check carrying amount of liability tax base of liability and it will automatically say it is a deferred tax asset we are human beings we know that when i am going to make the payment that year i will be allowed as a deduction from my taxable income and i will have tax saving hence this item will give rise to deferred tax asset pay now save later 
this year it is disallowed next year or in future it will be allowed therefore this item is save now sorry pay now save later if it is pay now save later it is a dta this you have written first few minutes we will spend more time in understanding different students have different background some of them may not have done article ship in good offices also some of them may not have done tax calculation during their article ship days some of you have kept income tax as an option and passed only because of gst possible therefore i have to take everybody along okay there is some note i have written this note is only just for understanding jfu just for understanding jfu if expense allowed as per deduction as per tax law is same as expense provided in the books of account like any normal expense okay rent transporters bill electricity bill payable then tax base is equal to carrying amount then tax base is equal to carrying amount because you are allowing same deduction in books also for tax purpose also example if it was rent payable instead of bonus income tax act does not speak about rent payable which means they will permit rent payable on accrual basis so the tax base will be 10000 to simplify tax base of a liability is carrying amount of liability minus future deduction can i say that temporary difference equal to temporary difference equal to this is tax base temporary difference is carrying amount minus tax base carrying amount minus tax base in place of tax base can i write this amount carrying amount minus future deduction now mathematically if i bring it outside the bracket ca minus ca carrying amount minus carrying amount plus future deduction so can i say temporary difference is equal to future deduction no need to remember if it is a liability item if it is a liability item temporary difference is equal to future deduction allowed temporary difference is simply equal to future deduction allowed okay temporary difference is equal to future deduction allowed to the extent deduction will be allowed in future when you settle the liability it is temporary difference okay now can i do reverse working also temporary difference is equal to carrying amount minus tax base don't write understand temporary difference is equal to future deduction temporary difference is the future deduction equal to carrying amount minus tax base therefore tax base will be equal to carrying amount minus future deduction you will say sir you are just doing time pass yes i am doing time pass if it helps you to understand in any which way one thing you have to understand if it is a liability the temporary difference equal to future deduction allowed and then if you have understood this part temporary difference is future deduction allowed then tax base will be equal to carrying amount minus future deduction allowed bring before your eyes this example of bonus payable and you will understand are we supposed to write all this in the exam no you are not supposed to write all this in the exam you are a student right now our duty as a faculty as a teacher is to explain the concept to you from different angles and you can understand at least some angle clearly i understand 
वन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर यू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज बोनस पेबल इज टेन थाउजेंड सो इन द बुक्स वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड बोनस पेबल हुज डिडक्शन इज अलाउड वेन एक्सपेंस इज रेकग्नाइज इन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस दिस क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट इट सेज हुज डिडक्शन इज अलाउड वेन एक्सपेंस इज रेकग्नाइज इन पीएनएल अकाउंट so i have already recognized the expense in pnl account which means for income tax purpose also it will be allowed in the same year understand once again books of account entry bonus account debit 10000 to bonus payable 10000 in this question they are specifically asking you expense is allowed when it is recognized in pnl account which means for tax purpose also for tax purpose also they allow in the same year because this bonus will be transferred to pnl account so income tax law will also allow for this question in the same year when the income tax has already allowed in the same year will they allow again in the future will they allow again in the future will they allow again in the future no so what is my tax base carrying amount minus future deduction 1000 10000 future deduction allowed is zero it's already allowed now you will not get deduction in future so the answer is 10000 tax base is 10000 tax base is 10000 those who want to write carrying amount minus future deduction 10000 minus 0 10000 temporary difference zero because both are equal temporary difference means future deduction in case of liability and in future you won't be allowed deduction you have already been allowed deduction in the same year so there is no deferred tax answer please deferred tax equal to zero i hope you are simultaneously writing also but more important thing is you must concentrate on understanding part one more test for you carrying amount of the loan payable is 1 lakh what is tax base what is temporary difference what is deferred tax carrying amount of loan payable to the bank is 1 lakh now when you will repay the loan how much deduction is allowed on repayment of the loan are you allowed deduction the answer is no so my tax base will be carrying amount minus future deduction allowed carrying amount 1 lakh on repayment of the loan we don't give deduction so tax base will be same only interest is allowed you are right only interest is allowed as a deduction principal amount of loan repayment is not allowed as a deduction so that is 1 lakh and when both are equal when both are equal temporary difference will be zero deferred tax will be zero write down the answer please now you have started understanding carrying amount 1 lakh tax base for liability tax base is carrying amount minus future deduction 1 lakh temporary difference zero deferred tax zero one more way to understand this answer is alternatively just a minute alternatively how will you understand loan repayment does not have tax consequence loan repayment does not have tax consequence hence 
tax base is equal to carrying amount is equal to 1 lakh that is it. If a particular asset or liability will not have tax consequence whenever they will be settled or recovered then the student will simply say tax base is equal to carrying amount tax base is equal to carrying amount the answer is same okay one more question for you creditor is rupees 10000 but read the full sentence whose deduction is allowed on payment basis whose deduction is allowed on payment basis not on accrual basis if the question gives you a particular instruction follow that tax rate 30 percent deferred tax computation my question is what will be tax base this 10,000 will be future deduction 10,000 will be allowed in future on payment basis so that is future deduction therefore tax base will be equal to how much carrying amount is 10,000 future deduction 10,000 tax base is 0 or in other way you can understand this is one way mathematics in tax books we have not recorded this expense books of account books of account we have recorded purchase account debit 10,000 to creditors 10,000 in tax books no entry because in tax books the expense will be deducted on payment so in tax books if there is no entry the value of the liability for tax book purpose is zero directly you can write zero or you can apply the formula and get zero answer okay whichever way you can understand our job is to understand write down the answer carrying amount 10,000 tax base carrying amount minus future deduction 10,000 minus 10,000 is equal to 0 and therefore and therefore temporary difference is 0 whether it is a DTD or TTD when you will make payment in future you will be allowed deduction and when you will be allowed deduction from your taxable income there will be tax saving which means there will be deferred tax asset this settlement of liability will have future tax saving hence DTA 3000 hence DTA 3000 or you can understand since carrying amount of liability is greater than tax base of liability it will give rise to deferred tax asset mathematically mechanically whatever way you can understand I am trying to explain by two or three ways now one important question creditor is 10,000 whose weighted deduction of 1.25 times or 125 percent you can say is allowed on payment basis whatever is given you have to respect it and solve whether income tax in India allows it or does not allow it none of my business as of now because I need to solve the question according to what they have asked my question is what is defer tax carrying amount minus future deduction will be equal to tax base this time it is an interesting question carrying amount is 10,000 
future deduction allowed will be 12,500. Future deduction allowed is 12,500. So, this is minus 2,500. Minus 2,500. So, this is my tax base. And therefore, temporary difference will be equal to 10,000 minus minus 2,500. So, that will come to 12,500 and deferred tax will be deferred tax asset will be because you are going to get 12,500 deduction in future 3,750. 3750 or very simply put instead of doing all this you will be allowed 12500 rupees deduction in future so that is my deductible temporary difference into 30 percent 3750 is the right answer most of you gave it right write down please deferred tax calculation carrying amount 10000 tax base 10,000 minus 12,500. So, that is we are getting a negative balance no problem 2,500. Temporary difference which will be deductible temporary difference in next year you will be allowed a deduction of 12,500. If you are going to be allowed a deduction of 12,500 enjoy you will save tax so you will pay more tax in this year because you are not allowed this as a reduction but you will save tax in the future period so pay now save later pay now save later will give rise to deferred tax asset 3750. Question number 9. Provision for gratuity. Now I am going to ask you a question. Is provision for gratuity or any such employee benefit liabilities, provision for leave in cashment, provision for PF, are they allowed on as per your knowledge of income tax? payment basis or provision basis payment basis right answer so whenever you are going to pay 1 lakh you will be allowed deduction so future deduction allowed is 1 lakh future deduction allowed is 1 lakh my question is what is tax base now little fast Come on, tax base, tax base, carrying amount minus future deduction, very good answer, 0. Carrying amount is 1 lakh, but tax base will be carrying amount minus future deduction, 0. And therefore, deductible temporary difference will be 1 lakh. Deductible temporary difference is 1 lakh. Or some student who, is, who will be smart, he may first compute this figure. Because he knows, once I pay 1 lakh, I will get deduction. So, this is my deductible temporary difference. He can put this as a balancing figure. What is the harm? What is the harm? If you can identify deductible temporary difference first, tax base can be taken as a balancing figure. And therefore, DTA 30,000. Therefore, DTA 30,000. One more question for you. advanced tuition fees received by ASF is it right suppose one student Rahul paid advanced tuition fees to AS foundation 10,000 rupees and it says tax is charged on receipt basis tax is charged on receipt basis as and when you receive the fees 
you pay the tax. Tax rate is 30 percent, compute deferred tax, compute deferred tax, compute deferred tax. What is the entry in the books of account you will pass? Books of account, we are going to pass an entry, bank account debit 10,000 to advance tuition fees liability. It will be liability because it is received in advance 10,000. Now I will go to tax book. In tax book, as soon as you receive the fees, you are subject to tax liability. Income tax will pass this entry. Bank account debit to tuition fees income to tuition fees income 10,000. Right. Now my question is after understanding the journal entry here it is already offered for income in the P&L account. Okay. Now once you have offered for income in the P&L account what will happen in the next year? What will happen in the next year? Understand. Once you understand you can conquer the world. Next year I will pass the entry advance fees account debit 10,000 to P&L account 10,000 in the books of account and what is the entry I will pass for income tax purpose. For income tax purpose the matter is already closed. Last year only it was offered for taxation. Now my learned student will reply what will be tax base? What will be tax base? Please reply first. What will be tax base? I got two answers and these are the only two answers possible. One person is saying 10,000 and one person is saying 0. You have exercised both the options 0 and 10,000. Answer is on the screen. Here we have a carrying amount of liability 10,000. Do you find any liability here? Do you find any liability here? Do you find any liability here? No. So answer is uh, 0. Tax base is 0. Or one more way to understand. One is to simply look at the two balance sheet. Accounting balance sheet will show 10,000. Tax balance sheet will not show any liability. 0. Tax base is 0. Or one more way to understand. I am not a teacher of income tax but still I will try. In the second year, you are preparing income tax return. Suppose you are a tax preparer. Income as per books in second year will be 10,000 because it is shown as income in the next year when the tuition fees actually became due. And what you will do in your income tax return, you will say this 10,000 was already offered for taxation in the last year, hence deduction for income already taxed in the previous period 10,000. Is it right? Which means this 10,000 is allowed to be deducted from your income in the next year. So, next year 
when you will show the income in the books, you will not be required to pay tax in the next year on 10,000. There will be tax saving in the next year as you have already paid tax in the first year. So, if you have paid tax in the first year, pay now, save later, pay now, save later. That will give rise to deductible temporary difference and the answer would be carrying amount minus future deduction 10,000 and this 10,000 will be deducted from your gross total income under the tax law next year because it is already offered for taxation. 10,000 will be allowed as a deduction from next year taxable income as it was already offered for taxation. So, write down the answer carrying amount 10,000 tax base 0 deductible difference 10,000 and finally, deferred tax asset 3000, deferred tax asset 3000, deferred tax asset 3000. I have written one note for you in case if you find it difficult, you can read the note. I know in the beginning it may sound little difficult, but it is not have concentration in the second year advanced tuition fees will be shown as income in the p l account but it won't be considered again for tax purpose hence future deduction is available and therefore it will give rise to deferred tax asset it will give rise to deferred tax asset okay one more practice will do question number 11 advance income advance income is 10,000, advance income is 10,000, books of account, income received in advance, bank account debit 10,000 to advance for goods or services 10,000. it will be taxed when goods or services are delivered. So, in the tax book also, in the tax books also, I will not call it as an income, I will call it as a advance only, because the problem says, it will be taxed when goods or services will be delivered. So, tax purpose also 10,000 we have 10,000 here, we have 10,000 here, both are 10,000 only. Now, by passing journal entry also you can guess, in books of account also the liability is 10,000, in tax book also the liability is 10,000, the liability is 10,000 and therefore, what is the tax base? please answer properly what is the tax base here what is the tax base here is the answer 0 or is the answer 10000 answer is on the screen probably you are not looking at the screen you are watching some movie on your mobile dear student you can see on the screen the liability in books of account is 10, suppose I prepare a financial balance sheet, liability will appear 10,000. Suppose I prepare a tax balance sheet, the liability will appear 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Both books have 10,000 tax base. Is it right? From another angle also you can understand. In the books of account, next year we will deliver goods and service. So, next year the entry will be advance account debit to sales account 10,000 and for income tax purpose also advance account debit to sales account. So, we are giving same treatment in both the books. My learned student, 
one golden rule of this chapter is if you are giving same treatment in both books where is the question of difference where is the question of difference so one important thing if you are giving same treatment in books of account and for income tax for the same event and transaction there is no difference if there is no difference tax base and carrying amount will be equal if i am doing same thing in both the books where is the difference so difference has to be zero if difference has to be zero tax base is to be equal to carrying amount so carrying amount is 10000 tax base 10000 tax base 10000 next year you have to offer this 10000 rupees for income and you will not get any deduction you have to offer this 10000 as an income had it been taxed in the current year then next year you would have saved tax liability but now you are not going to save any tax in the next year you have to pay tax in the next year when you will record it as income you will pay tax in the next year hello ca final student friends we have come out with ca final fr regular video lecture in english language you can purchase from our website vino.in along with the class notes you will also be provided with summary chart and mcq book the price is only rupees 599 you can purchase from our website you will get 5 year validity also so this is a very good opportunity to learn fr conceptually in detail from our website you can purchase at 599 vino.in thank you very much